Hello, and welcome to Psychology One, General Psychology, offered by the University of California Online Education. I'm John Kilstrom. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychology at UC Berkeley, and I prepared the lectures that come with this course. I'm a cognitive social psychologist with clinical training, so my interests in psychology are quite general. In addition to the introductory course, I teach courses on consciousness, memory, personality, and social cognition. As an undergraduate, I was a psychology major at Colgate University, and I took my PhD from the University of Pennsylvania, where my advisor was Martin T. Orne, a psychiatrist who also had a PhD in social psychology. After completing a clinical internship at the Temple University Health Science Center, I began my teaching career at Harvard. I didn't have a chance to teach the introductory course at Harvard, but I've taught the course now for more than 30 years at Wisconsin, Arizona, and Yale, as well as at Berkeley, and I never grow tired of it. This course covers the full spectrum of scientific psychology with an emphasis on cognitive processes, learning, sensation and perception, memory, thought, and language, as well as personality, social interaction, and development. At the beginning of the course, we'll talk about the biological bases of mind and behavior, a theme that will reappear throughout the course. And at the end, we'll talk about how what we've learned about normal mental functioning helps us to understand mental illness and its treatment. This course focuses on lectures and readings from the textbook. I can't hope to cover everything in my lectures. There just isn't time. But the lectures will provide you with a sort of framework for understanding what you're reading in the text. So for each module in the course, try to scan the relevant chapters before you go through the lectures. Then go back and read the textbook deeply for understanding. There are also some web-based experiments that will give you a laboratory experience analogous to what you would get in a science course on campus. And in order to promote a sense of community online, there are some discussion topics that we'll want you to participate in and we'll assign you to study groups as well. The course website also provides links to ancillary materials, study guides, practice quizzes, video segments, all sorts of things that are intended to promote learning and deepen your understanding of the material. But you're not specifically responsible for the contents of these extras. So far as exams are concerned, you're only responsible for the material in the lectures and in the required textbook readings. This course is a good preparation for a psychology major. In fact, it's essential preparation for a psychology major as advanced courses assume that you've already taken it. But even if you don't major in psychology, the introductory course is one of those courses that almost every college student wants to take. No matter what your major, biology, sociology, literature, even physics or chemistry, psychology is somehow related to it. And no matter what you do after college, you might go to law or business school, medical school, write poetry, or go home to help run the family hardware store, psychology connects to it, and what you learn in this course will be of use to you later in life. Because all of us want to know how our minds work and why people behave the way they do. And psychology is one of the ways we have of addressing these questions. Psychology is the science of mind and behavior. It tries to discover how our minds work. We welcome you to the course, and we hope you have a good time. <laughs>